I don't know about that, but we appreciate the compliment. living in Arizona so yes we met in training and um, the first time I trained with Barton I didn't want to give a realistic punch I sort of held back a lot of people do that first start training with Barton yeah, I wouldn't that. That's really long. so Barton chided me into really making sure that as um, 
a uke or as an attacker, I was giving a, a realistic attack so he could therefore do a realistic move. So yes, I literally fell over his chair. I after because we were living in different states um i flew back to alabama and um we emailed each other uh oh. short stories and poetry so me it took me a little bit of time to catch on to the fact that I was, we were kind of creating a relationship. I, I hear every day. We wrote back and forth for about nine months, and eventually I did catch on. Um, <laughs> And I flew back out to Tucson a couple of times, but that Thanksgiving, so we met in February, for the weekend of Valentine's Day, um, February 15th is mm -hmm. when we met, and that November is when we got engaged, yep. so it was a very quick time together, um, courtship. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the martial art that we study is really about um, timing, distance, and so. So I use those three things to offset the other person that and um that's really the majority of it. I also I also find that um the real just makes it awesome. Perfect. Yay! Perfect. Yay! 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, my first thought, well, when, when we were introduced, we were at a friend's house. And um, my first thought was, how can this guy train in a wheelchair? Um, oh, this poor guy. I'm so, so sorry for him that he has a disability. Yeah, how can yeah, he yeah. train in a wheelchair? Um, but as we talked about, I certainly found out that um, having a disability doesn't really impede the ability piece. And uh, it took actually one of our friends um, who burst that assumption of mine. She really challenged me to see Barton for who he was as a man and as someone who could take on responsibilities and was just like everyone else. And that really um, helped me to let go of some of the assumptions that I had. Um, even though I had been brought up in an inclusive environment, uh, my mother had MS, so I had a parent with a disability, but I still had my own assumptions that I had to mm -hmm. to work on and let go of. Mm -hmm. Thank God she did. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. make a point um, if I could humor is something that keeps our relationship going so it's really important to have mm -hmm. laughter as an everyday piece I'll say that um, I never laughed as much as when I um, met Barton or after I met Barton and laughter and um, really that uplifted spirit is something that keeps us going every day I all I haven't said that. I'm also getting a lot of eye rolls. Having said that, Barton also gets a lot of eye rolls. I think when when Maggie called to visit me the second time, we pretty much knew. So I just went ahead and asked the community and um. The day after that, we called our parents to tell them that we are engaged. And they had no idea what we were talking about. So all of them asked, um, you know, we, we called them up and we said, I'm engaged. And all of them asked how the reaction of to who um, so no they had not met the other one of us and they didn't know um, who we were my family was quite shocked as was um, Barton's I think yes. um, my father um, who is one of our, the, our most avid supporters now um, but I think he was a little shocked so um, he didn't I'm freaked you out. <laughs> so Barton uh, freaked him out a little bit. Um, he, uh, <laughs> he, um, he, and I think he just didn't know what to say to me or to our family. You know, it's not every day you have one of your children call you up and tell you that they're engaged and you 
haven't met the other person. So I give him a lot of credit now about how much we shocked him. <laughs> oh, oh, and by the way, the guy's in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, oh, by the way, the guy's in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so um, so my family was a bit shocked, and um, you know, so afterwards we had to go back and um, introduce them to to each other as well as to other family members, and and backtrack a little bit. Now it's interesting, also. Challenges to 
to find who we are rather than the other way around. So, in my experience, be able to let go of my own perception of disability is really what you would do the attention of another person. Do you want to add one? I'll add to that. I think we met through our interests, and I think a lot of times we, f we forget that. We're so... Um, we can get so mm -hmm. caught up in trying to find someone who's just like us, who's been exactly what we've been through. And, and yes, we are similar in, in that we love writing and we love training in martial arts, but mm -hmm. we also have different experiences that we bring to each other. And so we learn from each other um, through those interests. So mm -hmm. for me, that I think has been the, the focus um, the disability aspects are there, but they're secondary to who Barton is and who I am as a person. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> In our memoir, I was the one who wrote the chapter on intimacy. I think it's a perspective that um, that not many able bodied bring to the table that, that, that we talk about, but I certainly was asked a lot of questions um, after we met and I started sharing our story with my coworkers and, and friends and family. Mm -hmm. um, for some reason, everyone was just interested in it. Mm -hmm. So, um, so certainly we, um, we are husband and wife and, um, we love each other and we do have an intimate relationship yep. with each other. Um, it doesn't always work out the way we think it's going to. I think just like with anything else, we have to be flexible and adapt. Um, and playful again, that humor plays a huge role. And, um, and so, yeah, it, it just. Uh, comes very naturally, and we also have um, a good communication uh -huh. with each other. So we talk about things when they come up. Yeah. So why are guys with CP superior levels? Oh, first of all, oh, always still. children the natural way yet there are many different ways to create families and um, we're on the road to adoption that's one of the, the paths that we felt like was right for us um, we talk about the, the journey and um, the conversation around not being able to have kids it was a struggle for us for a few years it was it was a hard topic to get through. Um, you know, my, my automatic assumption 
Let's do play one of the videos. But that wasn't necessarily the reason that there was a barrier. But, um, it took us a lot of time to walk, walk through and figure out what it was that we actually wanted and what the best path for that was. So I think now we, we know that we want to adopt and um, there's mm -hmm. some things we have to we want to make sure that we take care of um, before we get there. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, for example, um, making sure that our um, our contractor jobs are, are set so that we can support mm -hmm. our family financially. And that's probably what's held us back the most um, is, is wanting mm -hmm. to make sure that we can um, just provide for our family or have enough to provide. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of an ongoing discussion. Mm -hmm. it, it will be. And, um, but, you know, as parents are, are never truly ready, you're just, you have to at some point take that leap. So, yeah, we're getting there. And we're getting there. I can't wait to read that. It's a dream of both of ours. Yes, it's definitely a dream of both of ours to get over over mm -hmm. there, so. I think we're going to. I think my superpower would be to don't people's minds and so their perceptions with we could I do I like that I like Ha, 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 ha. 
I think it would be really cool to have dinner with just some of the greatest philosophers of our time. Um, the Dalai Lama, like if you could go back in time, it would be interesting to have a conversation or have dinner with um, Einstein or Leonardo da Vinci or just some of those really interesting philosophers and, and art, creative artists. I agree with that. I think mine would be to have the late Robin Williams. Fields of Gold. Fields of Gold. Um, Sting sings it, but also there's a version by Eva Cassidy um, that's a really nice uh, version that we, that, that's our song. That's our song. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard question. I think it, for me, on my end, it would probably be a, a division. I'd like to um, gift some of it away to, to someone else. Um, we have our own pile of debt, so to take care of some of that. Um, and... Yeah. Um, and to um, to do something on our bucket list like travel that um, that really gets us out of where we are. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I think part of it says it way, but that would be a small part, and then. We travel around the world with a, a pizza and then whatever is left, give it away. Wow. The beginning. <laughs> the beginning. It's just been a pleasure to be on your show today. Yeah, it was a ball me. That is the... 